Hi, I'm Lori, and this is Teddy. Say hi, Teddy. Hi. How old are you? Three. Do you like museums? Yeah. What museums do you go to? Um, Pinhead Museum. <laughs> do you go to the Children's Museum? Mm-hmm. What do you see there? Dinosaur bones. Do you have one to show? Mm-hmm. Show them your dinosaur bones. Lift it up really good. The Montosaurus. What other dinosaurs have you seen there? Um, Ophelopsaurus. Really? Mm-hmm. No way. Yes, yes way. <laughs> what other dinosaurs? Um, T-Rex. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. T-Rex and Bucky. What else? What's your favorite thing about the museums? Um, dinosaur bones. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. Did a paleontologist give you this? Uh-huh. Do you remember his name? Wikipedia. Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't think a Wikipedia paleontologist gave you that. <laughs> All right, Teddy. Anything else you want to talk about museums? Nope. No. Nope. All right. Go play. As an emerging museum professional and a mom, I love to think about what museums will be like when Teddy's older. How will his perspective be incorporated into the museum experience? For years, museums have discussed how to better include the community's voice in the interpretation of culture. And we all know the social web to be an incredible tool for making this happen. We've been experimenting with a lot of participatory digital experiences, but now we have to use those visitor contributions in a meaningful way in exhibits. Visitors' contributions shouldn't be on the periphery, but should be reworked into the core of museum interpretation. Just as the web has become more social, it has also become more open. This is a core issue in digital humanities today. In the coming years, museums, libraries, and archives will have more pressure to consider what of their copyright policies are overly restrictive and unnecessarily preventing reuse. Museums will need to reconsider the role of control versus stewardship in order to remain relevant and accountable to the public. Everyone will need to address these shifts and expectations, and museums need to be more deliberate in working together with libraries and archives and, ar and universities rather than working in a vacuum. The museums who will thrive will be those that work more closely with universities, archives, and libraries in much broader contexts than the typical one-off projects and programs. To make these changes, I don't think it's necessary to diminish the role of those professionals already in the field. I regret the negative view of museum studies graduate programs. It's useful for up-and-coming museum professionals to have a solid foundation in the theories and issues present in the field. My museum studies program introduced me to the landmark articles in our field that are moving us forward and led me to connect with the museum professional community in ways I never would have on my own. That's not to say that unique perspectives don't have their place, but it should not be at the expense of those with strong theoretical backgrounds in museum studies. Together, we can contribute to, um, to we can all continue to build on the conversation and progress.